What's going on YouTube? Geosnor8 here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Electra to be updated for the iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.3.1. Just a few minutes ago Coolstar announced the fact that the Electra is finally close to the perfection. You can see here the Electra team has a new profile on Twitter. It's been created a few uh, weeks ago and they said just a few minutes ago quote Electra can now fully jailbreak up to iOS 11.3.1 now there have been some problems yesterday with the APFS remount on the iOS 11.3.1 that Coolstar has fixed with this developer in here and they apparently managed to get it working properly on the iOS 11.2.x and 11.3.x now remember this is very very close to be released for the moment the Electra for the iOS 11.3.1 hasn't been released officially but apparently the tests are going okay and they managed to get everything working including Cydia because they've been posting Cydia pictures on the iOS 11.3.1 and iOS 11.2.x for quite some time now. So we should expect the Electra jailbreak for the iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2 to be released very very soon. So in meantime make sure you install the tvOS profile to ensure that your device doesn't update to 11.4 because iOS 11.4 is not supported by the Electra, keep that in mind, and do not install other tools like the Osiris or the Houdini or anything else because the Electra is very very close to be released. I think it's a matter of days by now before we get a full version of the Electra for the iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2. Now remember this one will contain CDM and the substrate and you will be able to install all the tweaks you love and all the tweaks you like to install on your phone. And this will support the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7 and all the way down to the iPhone 5s which is the oldest iPhone that supports the iOS 11. So this is pretty much it about the Electra. Go ahead and follow the Electra team here. Of course I will keep you updated with anything that's going on with the uh, jailbreak but also before we end this video I would like to also say that the Osiris jailbreak that I have created has also been updated. Now remember this is a developer only jailbreak which means that it provides you access to the file system to the root file system and to the binaries and you can actually start drop here and create an SSH connection from your computer to the phone and do whatever you want in there but it doesn't contain CDM or installer. I actually managed to get installer working on this but I'm not going to release it with the installer because multiple developers including developers from the Electra team told me that the uh, installer is not actually very good for the moment and needs to be worked way more before we can have it publicly available. So I wouldn't like to release something that has a lot of bugs. But anyways the Electra is right around the corner so you wouldn't need to worry about it anyways. But if you want to try this and you are a developer you can go ahead it should be safe enough to do an SSH connection and it will also install FileZa in the future automatically. So you will have both SSH, root file system access and files up. So anyways this is pretty much it guys, big news for the Electra, it will be released very soon, they managed to get it, everything working finally and this of course means that once everything is done and once all the tests are carried out and everything is completed, they will push the update and you will be able to jailbreak, of course I will keep you updated for that, it's probably a matter of days at this point. Anyways, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.